a further detail that we can uh, account for on the cost price tab is feed out lo losses. It's almost inevitable when we feed out a supplement, be it hay or silage or grain, um, that we will get some feed out losses. They can vary dramatically um, depending on circumstances. So in this example, for a poor and good ryegrass clover hay, we have set feed losses at 10%. Um, and this effectively means that our poor hay, which cost us $150 a ton to produce, by the time it is consumed and 10% of it is wasted, that the feed consumed now costs $167 per ton. And so it's important that you enter a realistic value for the amount of feed that you think is being lost. Um, it can vary dramatically from as little as 5% to as much as 25% or more. In this example, we have looked at um, ryegrass clover hay poor and ryegrass clover hay good. Um, and it's important that we don't make those assessments of what's good and bad purely on subjective reasons. Um, and we really encourage producers to have feeds analyzed. You can then take two approaches. You can either try to um, find a feed in the library that is similar to the feed that you've tested, um, the feed that you've grown on, on your farm, or better still is to create a feed of your own. So we've already um, seen that by clicking on the right number, feed number, um, we then get our um, nutritional specifications window, uh, which shows you all the details of um, what's in that particular feed. But to create your own feed, um, you enter the feed library as shown so, uh, uh, like so. Select a feed that is as similar as possible to your feed. So for example, a, a good hay. Um, and then you you never edit that feed, but you add a copy. You never edit the original feeds in the library. Leave them as they are as your gold standard. You add a copy and then um, start adding your feed, Jones, um, October 23 hay. Um, and you then start to edit your feed values um, as they appear in your report. So you enter your the energy value of your feeds, the protein value of your hay, etc. Once you become familiar with using ruminating compact mode, we encourage you to switch to ruminate in standard mode. In standard mode, you can load up to 15 ingredients per diet. You can also create feed mixes, for example, grain mixes or TMR mixes or mineral mi mixes. You have more options available, both under the livestock value tab, the price tab, under the feed cost tab is basically the same, but you can also now under the compare tab, start storing diets so that you can compare your current scenario with alternative one, with alternative two, and save that as part of your file. You can make yourself notes, um, et cetera. And also the, uh, the section on the economics um, at the bottom of your screen is, is expanded. So you have more options available in uh, Ruminate in standard mode. On your diet tab, we have already spoken about dry matter intake and metabolizable protein and minerals, but you can also see that right at the bottom right of your screen is a value for enteric methane. This is the amount of methane that is predicted to be produced in grams per animal per day. And methane is important because it's a very powerful greenhouse gas and there is more and more um, talk about trying to limit the amount of methane um, that ruminants produce. Um, and one option to reduce the amount of methane produced is to increase diet quality. 
it'll benefit both the animal in terms of improved performance and also the environment in terms of reduced methane output. So how much methane is produced from different diets is shown at the bottom right of your screen.